Hello. So recently I was with some friends and they were talking about, we were talking about how when people get older, would you ever get married again? And we were talking about how the narcissist had come in strong. I'm going to marry you. I'm going to marry you inside of two days. I was catching up with a friend that hadn't been in town for a while. So what happened? And okay. Made me think about the fact that the answer to that question, especially coming off a narcissistic relationship, you think would be, they were like, you would never get married again though, would you? I mean, he was asking you, but you would never get married again, would you? I looked at these friends and they're married. I said, you know, you guys say that because you've been married 35 years. You've had that marriage. I've never had a 35 year marriage. And yes, I would get married again one day. I knew it was never, I was never close to thinking that I was going to marry the narcissist. Let's not get confused. But that's how the topic was breached. So I thought I would mention it to you. I don't ever want the narcissist to have the power to destroy in us our faith for a happy future with somebody else. That's where the conversation went. No way, no how. Whether or not you think you would get married again if you've already been married is a very personal choice. I certainly believe in the institution of, of love and marriage and all of that. I mean, if it was right, and I, of course, I'm not against that. I never said never marriage again. I would never have married this narcissist from a mile away. Trying to hang out with them for a little while is different than you married them. Okay, you're talking about marriage. But if I did find somebody who fulfilled all of those pockets and was honest, sure I would. And I want you to have the same thing. Now, if you have another reason you would never get married, I have a girlfriend who will never get married. She just doesn't want to. That's fine. What I'm here to do is I will not, we cannot allow the experience with the narcissist to, to propel us forward into a land wherein we just see ourselves alone forever because we just can't picture trusting someone ever again to the point of marrying them. I refuse to let that be my situation. I won't. So I will forever always say, sure, yes, I would get married again. The narcissist will not take my... That was thunder. Minnie's over here in a ball. It's okay, baby. They will not take my ability to believe in going forward and finding the joy and happiness that can come from landing with a healthy individual and a healthy person. And I don't want you to let them do that either. If you've never been married and your narcissist was an experience that you've just had, you had a, <laughs> that was quite an introduction into the world of dating, but you can kind of think you have all this education behind you already. But not all people are like that. There are good people on this earth. I know, I know plenty of them and so do you. And if you don't know that you no good people or that I mean if you don't know that there are good people and you doubt no I just don't think I'd find anyone I want you to look at the roster of your friends and family I bet it's composed of good people that's your evidence that good people are on the earth you just happen to meet a narcissist that's all Minnie's a wreck <laughs> you just happen to meet a narcissist it doesn't mean everyone is like that and that that should impair your future plans going forward to find your happiness. You have to remain open, please. If you are devastated and you are feeling negative and you just don't see, please just know that things can turn around. Think of where you were a year ago to now. So a year from now could be you marrying the love of your life that you haven't even met yet. You don't know. You don't know. A year from now could represent anything different than what you're happening now. If you make the change to make it happen. 
and if you make room for your life to receive goodness into it. That part's up to us. If you remain occupied with your narcissist, then no, you probably, I probably, I would never have gotten married again. If I stayed with my narcissist hanging out, doing that dance back and forth, I would never have gotten married again. That would have been a long back and forth, I bet, but I wouldn't have married him. I want to someday have a real relationship with somebody. So to make room for that, you have to make the dysfunctional clear the space that they're taking up. Once you do that and you're in your own control of your own destiny, you can allow only good, healthy things into that space. And eventually it may fill up with joy you never knew could even be possible. Please don't use the narcissist experience as your barometer for all that is joyous. Oh my God. Especially if it's the only relationship you've had. Because I, I, I think of that person. That their first relationship was a narcissist relationship. Boy, that's got to be... You're thinking, how could I ever love somebody like that? Nobody's ever going to be like that with me when they think of the love bombing phase. I assure you, if you make space in your life and you make the changes that you need to do internally to receive things that may come into your life, you'll get married if you want to. You'll have a relationship if you want to. The point is you have to believe that you are worthy of the goodness that can be ahead for you. And you have to make yourself be the priority in order to garner that into your life don't put yourself in a back seat anymore I had a girlfriend that her goal was to get married she got divorced she was unhappy about it she doesn't like that life she wanted to be in love and she wanted to be married again and she made it happen and she is and she's happy it was her priority if that is your priority, say you're young and you're at an age that you haven't had your children yet and you just broke up with a long relationship and you're like, oh, well, now what? I see a lot of girls hurry. They hurry. I got to hurry up and get married. I want children. Blah, 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 blah. Don't get nervous. It'll happen. Things will happen. If you want them to happen and you make room for them in your life and you concentrate on yourself and you get away from the narcissist. And if you're one of those 30-year people that got divorced from your narcissist, like my girl that watches this channel, you may get married again. You have no idea. I'm a stepchild three times. I've seen marriages and divorces between parents and older people at every age you could possibly fathom. Every age you could possibly fathom. And happiness comes at all ages, and happiness comes at all times, and it comes when you don't know what's around the corner. And somebody who sits there right now and says, I'll never get married again, might be married in a year, along with the person who's never been married before, who didn't think they were going to get married because they were tied up with a narcissist and they couldn't picture it. Marriage is a serious thing. It's, very, it's a wonderful institution. I don't want anyone looking down on the possibility of ever finding it, finding it again, having it for themselves, because the narcissist poisoned their mind. Anything, any power we can keep after experience with them is beneficial. And part of that is the pixie dust that goes along with knowing that, yep, one day I'm going to get married again. If that's what you think. I will not. I definitely think I might. And I've been divorced 15 years. And coming off a narcissist relationship. I'll get, I'll find what I want. <laughs> that sounds bad for me. I'm not going to go back into it easily. I'm not. Nobody gets married to get divorced. Nobody's happy when they get one. You know what I mean? It's not an easy thing. I don't take it lightly, marriage. And the fact that I got divorced doesn't mean I took my marriage lightly. Or the decision to get married lightly. It's a decision. It's a big decision. But I'm willing to make it going forward and nothing's going to squash me. Not the narcissist experience, not the pain he caused. 
I know it's hard to trust going forward, and that can lead you to think you're not going to get married because you can't picture trusting somebody else because that's because you're thinking of the narcissist. Think of the wonderful people you know, your friends and your family. They are walking around the earth. There are other people that are just as good as these people, your friends and family. There's people that you don't know, friends and family of other people that are walking the earth. There are good people on the earth. You met a narcissist. No, you can't trust that person. Yes, they take up space they shouldn't. Yes, if they're still in your life, they're blocking the good that might come in. But the experience with them does not mean that you need to leave it thinking you're doomed to be alone and not get married, not get married again, not find love, not find love again. Maybe you'll be so in love the next time that you won't even believe that you even were in the narcissist relationship for more than a day. But you won't know unless you open your mind, heart, and think that you are ready to receive those gifts. You're worthy of those gifts. You're worthy of being loved and marriage if you want it. Whether it's a first, second, or third time, I don't care. Fifth, I don't care. It's your choice. Those are personal choices. But please don't let the narcissist's time with you dampen your outlook on your future because anything you want you can have